Hello, everyone. We are now in the Module 6 in ICT and Entrepreneurship in Technology and Livelihood Education 6. So in this module, the topic is Processes Online Survey Data. It is based on the Unified Supplementary Learning Materials, also known as USLEM. For the expectation, at the end of the video, you should be able to identify the steps in processing survey data, know the different elements of Google Forms response tab, and process and analyze online survey data. So this video is a continuation of module four of the previous video. So let us begin with the pretest. So true or false, write true if the statement is correct. If false, write the correct answer to make the statement correct. So this time you may pause the video and start answering those questions. Let us now check your work. Here is the key to correction. So number one, question tab contains all the results from everyone who responded your survey. The correct answer, responses tab, meaning to say it is false. Two, there are five different ways of viewing your form responses. The correct answer is true. Three, downloaded or downloading an Excel file is necessary before you start processing survey data. The correct answer is, is not. So downloading an Excel file is not necessary. Four, it is important as an entrepreneur to have a feedback. The correct answer is true. Five, Responses tab has three subtabs. The correct answer is true. So let's have a quick review. Direction, answer the following questions below and write your answers in your TLE notebook. So what is survey? A is a list of questions aimed at extracting a specific data from a particular group of people. B, used to determine an individual's ability or potential to succeed in a certain task with no prior knowledge or training. C, is the controlled operation and movement of a motor vehicle, including cars, motorcycles, trucks, and buses. D, an assessment that helps identify strengths and weaknesses in both individuals and groups and a and enables teachers to prioritize the next steps in teaching and learning. So what's your answer? The correct answer here is D. Survey is an assessment that helps identify strengths and weaknesses in both individuals and groups and enables teachers to prioritize the next steps in teaching and learning. Number two, all are example of online survey applications except A, Google Forms, B, Microsoft Edge, C, SurveyMonkey, D, Type Form. Write down your answer. Let's check what's the correct answer for this question. The correct answer is letter B, Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is an example of an internet browser. Number three, there are blank types of questions in Google form. A, three, B, five, C, seven, D, 10. Please write down your answer. And the correct answer here is 
letter D, 10. In this lesson, we are now going to view the responses from the respondents who answered your survey. Google Form has a dedicated tab for viewing all the responses, and that is the Responses tab. So according to what is Survey Data Processing by Oliver Harrison, he stated that survey data processing is the crucial step that follows the collection of any survey data. The aim of data processing is to manipulate or transform raw data into meaningful results which can be analyzed in any statistical software tool and ultimately presented in a way that answers the intended research question. So there are five ways of viewing the responses in your survey. Ito yung mga sumusunod. In the summary subtab, question subtab, individual subtab, viewing responses in Google Sheets, downloading responses as CSV. So to access these responses, simply open your created survey form and click the responses tab. Here, you will find the results from everyone who responded so far, along with the several features that you can explore. And after that, you are now done creating your online survey and sending it to your target audience. It is now time to wait for the responses. By default, the first subtab that you will see in the responses tab is the summary. Summary subtab has the overview of the responses of your survey. This may contain different graphs and charts depending on the type of questions you have selected while creating your survey. Other options are question subtab or individual. So based on the picture, there are three subtabs. First, the summary subtabs, question subtab, and individual subtab. Sa summary dito makikita kung ilan ba yung sumagot dun sa survey. Ayan, kung nakikita nyo dito sa taas, the example for this picture is there are 2,449 responses. So ganyan kadami yung sumagot ng survey. At nandito yung breakdown kung saan grade level ba sila nabibilang. May kinder, grade 1, grade 7, and so on. So, ito ay part pa rin ng summary subtab. As you can see, andyan yung age bracket and yung gender. Kung lalaki, ilang lalaki ba o ilang babae ba yung sumagot. So, ito naman yung sa question subtab. As you can see, ah, uh, Ayan, yung mga sagot ng mga respondent sa age. Kita na kagad. So, ayan. Part pa rin yan ng Google Form. So, kung mapapansin nyo, may similarity siya sa ginagamit natin during your summative test. Ito ay parang uh, nung time na nag-fill up kayo ng LESF during the enrollment. So, you can also view responses in a spreadsheet. To use a spreadsheet with respondent or with responses to your form by doing the following. Number one, click the view responses button in the toolbar. The dialog box will appear that lets you choose between creating a new spreadsheet or creating a new sheet in an existing spreadsheet. So, yan yung kulay green. So, yan yung tinatawag na Google Form. I mean, Google Sheet rather. So, and the last option you have to view is is to view it as a CSV, also known as comma separated values on Microsoft Excel. You name downloaded file. So, 
To download a CSV file of all the responses, you must do the following. Number one, click the file menu. Two, select download responses or CSV file. Three, from there, you can use the Excel features to analyze the responses from your survey. So there are two ways to open your spreadsheet. <clears throat> it's either you open it to Google Sheets or you may download the CSV file. So to download a CSV file of all responses, do the following. One, click the file menu. Two, click download responses. Three, from there, you can use the Excel features to analyze the responses from your survey. So, ayan, kita naman na. Ayan, no? Dito na siya sa picture. If you wanted to try this one, you may do so. You can also view responses in a spreadsheet. If you are done with the survey you created and decided to stop the survey, you may do the following. So, paano nga ba natin ihihinto yung pag-submit ng responses? Ito yung mga dapat gawin. On the responses tab, select accepting responses to toggle responses off. The upper part of your survey will turn into not accepting responses and a message on top of the form will appear indicating that the form has been turned off. Two, if you like to reopen your form to accept responses again later, just follow the same procedure to toggle responses back on. So, ito yung itsura niya. Yan yung tinatawag na uh, accepting responses toggle button. Ito, yung naka-square. So, para i-off yan, i-click nyo lang yan yung bilog. Then, kapag napunta na siya sa left side yung bilog, automatic na it will no longer accepting responses. Ibig sabihin, naka-off na. Tapos, kung gusto mo naman siya, yan, naka-off na yan. So, kung gusto mo naman siya ulit na tumanggap ng responses, ibalik mo lang siya sa right. Click mo lang yung toggle. Then, accepting responses na siya ulit. You can also customize the message letting the visitors know that the form is no longer accepting responses. Change the text that appear under the heading message for respondents. So there is an activity for this uh, topic. So look at the responses in your survey form. Analyze your data using the responses tab of Google Form and answer the following questions below. Number one, how many have responded to your survey? Two, what are the types of questions you have selected in your survey? List them all. Three, did you encounter any difficulties processing your survey data? What are those? And you have to list them all. Four, how did you resolve these challenges? Five, what have you observed? Will this data help you as you go along? What have you learned after analyzing your data? Self-rate, number six. How are you going to rate your survey? So more than eight, high. Six is equals to average. And three and below is low. So here is a rubric for your guide, as your guide. So here is the criteria. Answer, five points if clearly answered all parts in complete sentences. Three points if we're able to answer all parts but answer may not be clear. And one point was not able to answer all the parts and is unclear. So cite, five points cited evidences according to the analyzed survey data. Three points, most part of the... Answer, do not have evidences from the process survey data. And one point, did not cite any evidences. And for the last criteria, which is the explanation, five points if we're able to explain answer, clear and understandable, able to expand idea beyond simply answering the question. Three, was able to explain but not clear, 
and one point did not provide any explanation to the questions. So you may take a screenshot of this rubric for your guide. So remember, there are different ways of processing your online survey data, depending on the application you use. But it is important for you to know that processing the, the data of the collected responses is vital to deeply understand what your audience was trying to suggest. Remember that product feedback is a great tool as a future entrepreneur. This will help know that what are the things you need to improve and what are those that satisfy your customers. And now, for your post-test, please scan the QR code for you to access the link, or you may also type the link given below, or you may click the link in the description below to access your post-test. Be sure to answer the post-test. Should, should you have any questions or clarifications, feel free to comment down below. So that's all for this video. I hope you learned something from me. I'll see you again in my next week. Do not forget to subscribe my channel and like this video for more updates. And of course, tap the notification bell for more updates as well. So I'll see you again in my next week. Stay safe, everyone, and God bless us all. Bye.